Hey folks, Ken Coleman here. He is John Falcons, our head coach of all things All Access and Entree Leadership. And John, one of the things that I know you and your coaches do all the time, you're talking about culture yep. with our clients and people we're helping. I know that we're very intentional about culture here at Entree Leadership and of course within Ramsey Solutions. So mm -hmm. when you start discussing the idea of building, developing, improving culture. How do you break that down for people? Sure. I'd like to just double down on what you said for just a second. It is a huge subject. You're absolutely right. We get asked about it all the time. I do love what Peter Drucker said about culture, and that is that culture eats strategy for breakfast. This really is the competitive advantage you have in the marketplace. If you've got a bad culture, and we all have company culture, organizational culture. We see it everywhere. Uh, you've got one. It's just a matter of how healthy is That's it. Right. And so we do, like, you know, you run the podcast, you get these questions all the time. We're always talking about it. So we did have to come up with a way to kind of get our hands around it and, and come up with a word picture that we use to explain it. And we really use that that picture of that old oak tree yes. <laughs> uh, and the different parts of it, you know, and this is how we break it down. We really look at the roots of that tree, the things that are kind of below the surface, maybe a little bit intangible, but still it's where everything starts. And those roots represent your core values, your beliefs, the mission that you're on. And really the key part of that is how well does your team know that? How well do you live those things out? How well are those things communicated? Do you hire to them? Do you fire to them? Uh, you know, do you reward to them? Like, how much do they inform how you run your business. But that's where it all starts, is down there in those roots. And then what we see happen is, is what grows out of that is this big trunk of the tree. And those really become your, your operating principles, kind of the rules of the road, kind of how you run the business, you know, what you're going to allow or not allow uh, grows out of that. And that becomes the trunk of that tree. You know, if we around here have this thing that's kind of weird, the no gossip policy, mm -hmm. right? It's a very real thing, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> you could lose your job over it. You can and lose your job over that. Like, we don't have a big, thick HR manual, but we live by that, right? Mm -hmm. We live by our values. Those are our uh, rules uh, of the road, operating principles, whatever you want to call them. We're not big on policies, but there's some stuff we don't do around here. And then out of that really comes what, what we call the culture, what the company culture, which is nothing more than the collective attitudes and behaviors of your organization. And we see this all over the place. I know I said that, but I want to highlight it for just a second. Professional sports teams have cultures. Think think for a second, Ken. I know you're a sports nut. Oh, yeah. uh, Detroit Pistons. Yeah. The, the 19, late 89, 90, yeah. the bad boys. The, you, you just named their culture. That's it. They had, a, they right. had an organizational yeah. culture, right? Uh, Oakland Raiders. Yeah. Well, I mean, they're just... Just win, baby. Just win. That's it. Al, Al Davis. Al, Al Davis. Wow. Right? That wow. came from his so beliefs, good. his That's values, true. the mission that he was on. We see it. It, 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 uh, it drives, it fosters, it grows the collective attitudes and mm. behaviors of your team. Sometimes it's sick. Sometimes it's healthy. But it is, it's there all mm. the time. And then what happens is out of the attitudes and the behaviors grows the fruit of the tree. And that's the results of your organization. That's when we look at the numbers, how did we get the numbers of our organization, whatever they are. If, we're, if, they, if at the end of the game, uh, they're winning numbers or losing numbers, they're a result of our behaviors and our attitudes during that period of time. And, uh, you know, what we do as entrepreneurs a lot of time because the score of our business is so tangible, it's so in our face, uh, is we stare at those. We look at those and we say, I want those to be different. And we can fixate on those things and we can talk to our team about them. We can, you know, kind of jump up and down and scream about those numbers. But the problem is so far below what generated those results. And so I always like to say, if you have a problem with the fruit, you need to check the root uh, because that's where it was. There's something about your core values, your belief, the mission that you're on that is askew. Now, let me be careful. I'm not saying values are right or wrong necessarily, but what we see in an organization is 
were not living them out right. We didn't hire to them properly. Maybe we got in a hurry because we were under pressure to get a hire in. Mm -hmm. So we hired the first person that could fog a mirror <laughs> and we let, we let crazy in the door, right? right? Or maybe we hired somebody that was married to crazy. Have you ever hired, you know, have you ever been around crazy? It's not fun, right? right? And so somewhere along the line, there was a disconnect from our values, what it was that we really believe is important, and that worked its way up through the organization, and it caused problems. Yeah. Wow, good stuff there. So, folks, you need to be always examining that culture tree. I love that, the roots, the trunk, the branches, and the fruit. He is John Falcons. I'm Ken Coleman. Thanks for being with us.